Welcome to the Faith Hour. Located in Prokon Park, Minnesota and which with Pastor Brian Mungandi as the senior pastor, Faith Church International is totally committed to the proclamation of the Gospel of Jesus Christ in the context of Revelation 14, 6 to 12. We urge you to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and worship Him as Lord every Sabbath day. Pastor, I like your preaching and emphasis on Jesus Christ. Do you have any comment uh, on the other religious forces in the world? You say, why the emphasis on Jesus Christ? It's because I believe that Jesus Christ is very important to the whole world. And that's not being disrespectful to the other religions. I have very high regard uh, for Islam. There are five pillars and how that has become a whole way of life. I have respect for the four noble truths of Buddhism and the eightfold paths. But you see, as human beings, we have a lot in common as human beings than those things that divide us. You know, I've never really met President Obama, but I know that he's a very important person. He deals with very important issues in the world, like, for example, what to do with the issue of the Middle East, or national and global economy or the issue of terrorism 
But I think that on an individual level, the, th the most important thing that gets lost is what to do with Jesus. Another very important person long time ago wanted to know what the answer to the issue of Jesus was. So he approached Jesus at night. And in that one historic night discussion, Jesus laid out the most important issue, the heart of the gospel of salvation in John 3.16. John 3.16 reads, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. When what Jesus was really saying here was that he was the Son of God, and that he was the answer to the sin problem. This saying that he was the Son of God is not one fanciful statement, no. It's a statement that has been affirmed by many other people. For example, uh, Peter the Apostle said that you are the Son of the Living God. Even those people that wanted to have Jesus killed, they had to testify that he claimed to be the Son of God. Even the soldier, the soldiers that nailed him to the cross to die, one of them stood up and said, this man is the Son of the Living God. Now, Pastor, if Jesus was the Son of God, I mean, if Jesus is that important, then why did he die? Now, you, there are three, three very important reasons. Reason number one. Reason number one is that the law of God does not change. Reason number two is that God's love is eternal. And reason number three is that he wanted to show the value of the human soul. Now let me explain reason number one. Reason number one, the Ten Commandments Pastor, I don't like the commandment. Whoa, 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 wait, wait. I know, I know. I mean, I, I don't like people who talk about the commandment. Commandment keep us uh, legalists. Commandment is not important because we are under grace now. I know that when you, you begin to talk of the Ten Commandments, red flags go up. Uh, terms like legalism legalists are thrown around but I want you to know that um, the law of God brings life the law is holy the law is right and the law is good you see it is obedience to the law that brings happiness Disobedience to the law of God is what is called sin. And this brings us to the time when there was no sin. You see, when Satan rebelled against God in heaven, he, he challenged the justice of the law of God and also questioned questioned the love of god you see god is love god has always been love